All right, today I'm in the field with the six wheel drive and the military trailer. We've just taken off to go for a trip for a thousand Ks. On my left blinker doesn't work. So I'm gonna have to pull this 12 pin NATO plug off and find out what's wrong with it. Yeah, typical of being in the field, it started raining. All right, now yeah, we'll lock this open. We'll have a look. So there's a couple of pins that are pushed in. There's one missing, although I seem to recall that was missing a while ago. Um, that pulled out, that was never actually connected. We do need to get the shroud off. Have a look if anything's come undone in the inside. Um, then later on we need to work out which one's our ground connection on all of these. And then find a way to peg that open because it's sprung open. So these things are not cheap. Um, I should parallel a uh, seven pin flat on this at some point too. In any case, um, the extra pins are for like convoy lights and all that sort of stuff. So uh, let's get this open and see what it's like inside. Okay. I am still recording. What would you like to say, Apprentice? Just be careful, guys. <laughs> I don't know what she's saying in there, she's mumbling. You know, it does occur to me that I may be ill-equipped with simply a Leatherman and uh, loosening this to get this whole assembly apart. Um, it does look like there might be a screw under there. I might have to take that off. But um, I'm noticing these have a pretty uh, obvious boss. I'm just gonna very gently wriggle the pins back to the right level and hopefully they make contact and that'll get us through this trip. Right, I can see we're going to be setting up wet in the campsite and don't mind the camera bracket in the way here. Okay, so we've got right hand which we knew, left hand still not working. Um, I don't think I want to be fixing this in the rain, so we have these lights and we have high level indicators as well. I think that'll get us to the caravan park which is about a kilometre away. We might tackle this during the uh, drier weather. All right, the rain band passed. I got out and then it started again. I found a tester screwdriver. We're gonna probe around in this with this connected to ground till we find the flashing lights. I've got it on hazards because I know at least one side works. So we should be able to find two pins that make this light flash. All right, we're in the land of bodgy phone holders, but we're connected to the um, Anderson ground. This is the ground of the 24 volt system, but it shares ground with the 12 volt system. So, we know for sure we've got ground on that Anderson plug. So we should, if there's anything active in here, see this screwdriver light up. And there is nothing lighting up. Trust Lucas wiring to be this crazy. So I can't even find the active pin for the hazards going to be a long day. All right, so I've got a multimeter out and we've got continuity beep. We'll see if we can hold this spring thingy open somehow and uh, hold this on the ground. I don't think I can do this with only two hands. All right, now I found an Oki strap. Continuity still works. Now, do we have connection to the frame here. Will this give us connection somewhere? I need to see if I've got chassis connection and these these cables are the cheapest shit cables because they once they get cold they don't like to bend anymore. Okay. Okay so that's working. But that is not connecting to the chassis. Okay. Where is a chassis connection that actually makes connection? Point that there. Okay, I'll just shove that there. I don't know if you can even see that. And we'll go off pin L and off some other pins. See if anything is flashing. Pin A, pin K, pin J. 
there's something going on there. There's no voltage and it's flashing in time with that's so that's pin J. Okay, pin H. Pin M. Okay, so pin M. We have voltage on. Pin F. No. Pin E. Okay. Pin whatever this one is. No, pin D. Try across pin D here. No. So we have 100% on, where was that pin again, this one? So 100% pin M is giving us flashing voltage. We have not much there. Pin J is giving us a bit of an indication. And it's flashing in time with it. I'm not sure if that's just interference. Okay. How are we going to determine the ground here? I think if I do something dodgy here, we take, we do it through our 10 amp shunt. Uh, no, go our common 10 amp shunt and put it into current mode. Um, that's in amps 10 mode. Then we clamp this clamp onto the probe. Okay, we hang that down here, and then we go, and the probe just came off. Okay, because what the 10 amp shunt will do is basically create a dead short, and we can, oh this clip is bent. Always the things you find when you're in the field. Let's see if that will stay there like that. So that should give us ground if I put this probe on here, and then this probe in here should flash. There we go, we've got a bit of a flash. That's our indicator. What about on any of these others? No, no. So, that's definitely our indicator on there. We don't have two indicator wires running out. So I think my problem is socket side, not trailer side. In which case, I'm not fixing that in the field right now.